What's up, Powers? My name is Jason, and today we're gonna finish off that Build and Battle Stadium. Rip the stadium. Build and Battle Kit Display Box. I got it right here. So let's get into the last five and see what we get. How's it going, everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day today. If not, I hope this video can help cheer you up just a little bit. Today we have the rest of the build and battle kit display box we have five more boxes in and this one we opened up five boxes in the last video so if you missed that go check it out actually very happy with the pulls so far want to see a little bit more in the rarity but i honestly can't complain if you want to see what we get in the last one check it out or maybe at the end of the video we're gonna do a complete recap of what we pulled from those boxes so yeah we have our five boxes here now, I really only did this because of the price that this cost for 10 of these boxes, which is four packs per box, which comes out to 40 packs in the whole display uh, box. Um, we were able to get this for $125. That's $12.50 a box, which is an insane value to me, I think. Because I think a boost box is $100 to $120, depending on where you get it. So for... Well, depending on where you get it, if you get the cheapest 100 bucks for 25 more dollars, you not only get these promos, you get the whole bunch of cards and then the four packs. So I think that was really good. Um, but what did I do with my scissors? I don't know what I do with my, oh, they're right here. I was like, what do I do with scissors? Cause I want to get these open up. So let's go ahead and get into these next five build and battle boxes or build and battle kits. So before we do, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, or hit the dislike button if you don't. Let me know down below what you think. Did I get a good value on this? And is this the best product to get? I don't know. Retail cost wise, these are $20. So uh, that's kind of mixed. Local card shops, they might sell it for $15 I've seen, uh, or some might just sell it for $20. But yeah, but for $12.50 a box, I, uh, I think I had to snag these up. All right, so let's see. We have our first four, and then we have a Coridon. So in the last one, we got one Coridon, three Moridons, one for Alligator, and I don't know what the other uh, pre-release is. Hopefully we can pull it here, I think we will. I think you get at least one of each of the pre-release promos. So the four packs there, and for Alligator. I'll take another for Alligator. So two Coridons, two for alligators. I'm gonna start throwing these over here. All right. Box three. Huh. Move that, and let's see. Four packs there. And another for alligator. Three for alligators total. I'll take that, that is my favorite one from these pre-releases. But I really wanna know what that fourth pre-release is. Maybe we get it here. Our four packs. And oh, another Coridon. So that's three Coridons, three for alligators, and three um, Moridons. Is this gonna be the last one? There's four, there's usually four pre-release promos from uh, set to set. So, Let's see. All right. This has to be the last one, right? No. I don't know what the last one is. I mean, if I remember while editing, I will put the last uh, promo up on the screen, but yeah, that's insane. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad. Four for alligators. I'll take that. That was my favorite one. Let's see what we have here. All right. So let's go, last time we did it from right to left, let's do left to right. Again, we had seven hits in the last one. Let's see if we get seven in this one. I think usually it's 14 hits per, see so you get four illustration rares, now you get the two ace, four illustration rares, four double rares, and three, so 12, 14, yeah, 14 is what you get. We'll love to see a special illustration rare. That will be the biggest one I'm looking for. If we could get that, then we're, we're good. 
You have P-Dub, Hand Trimmer, Rapska, Fortress, Reverse is an Iron Valiant, and Hand Trimmer, and a Mel Metal. So nothing in pack one. Way to start things off. Pack two. All right, starting off with a Mincino. Let's hope that I don't get a duplicate in this one. And if I do pull a bunch of duplicates, that it's Iron Crown for the double rares. All right, Deerling Reverse. We have a gold card. I don't know what gold cards there are. I know I know the Pokemon ones, but let's see. Gouging Fire. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. I'm like, we haven't gotten a secret rare in a while. But we got a Gouging Fire EX. Very nice gold card. Wow. Fiddle and Battle Kits. I mean, so far, I didn't pull this in a booster box yet. So far, a lot better. All right. Relicanth Hollow and a Grass Energy. Very happy about that. Let's get into the next one. So in the last one, it seemed like all of the Build and Battle Kits had at least one hit in it. And whether that was a Double Rare or a Ace or a uh, Illustration Rare, it had one hit at least. And that's, that's very nice to see. Okay, we have a Shaman, Reverse Sharpedo, and no Illustration Rare, but Iron Juggalus with a Feraligator. Oh. Feels like something's tickling my nose. All right, Code Card. And the fourth and final pack of box one. Starting with an Azumarill, Yamper, Grubbin, Metacham, Bolton, Mudsdale. You have Explorer's Guidance, Poochiana Reverse, and Hootoot with a Hollow Dud and Sparse. So yeah, one hit, but it is a nice one. Gold Gouging Fire. All right, box two. Let's see what we get in here. I don't mind the one hit per box because that gives you at least a kind of dart throw at something. As long as it's whatever, um, it's very nice. And then you have a chance of better ones. Right, you, Victini, Bronzor. Oh, kind of stuck there. Mist Energy, Sawsbuck. We have a Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Ghastly Reverse pulling a lot of Ghastlies. Just not the right one. The one that costs like fifty thousand dollars. Just kidding. It's like fifteen bucks, but it was like five dollars when it first released. Okay, so nothing in pack one for box two. Let's see, what we get in this one. I mean, it was pack two that gave us the gouging fire, but Bronzor, Mighty Anna, Duogen. Do we have something here? No, I don't think so. At least not in the hall, the hollow slot. The hollow slot just looks like a regular hollow. We have a bronze on, but no illustration rare. Carvana and a Feraligator hollow. Dark energy. All right, so box two, starting off with two dud packs. With pack three, third time to charm, possibly. Let's see. We have a Mudbray, Ghastly once more. We have Fenizen. Dunsparce, Behem, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Rapidash, Reller, and Rapska. Okay, Reller just evolved into a Rapska with a Relicant. Not looking too good. But again, I did say that in the first video that there might be one box in here that has nothing in it. Is this that box? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we got something in here. I was just looking for that little shine from the illustri or from the um, the hollows, and I don't see it. I mean, I have been tricked before, so we'll see here. Iron Hands, Amortis, Shiftry, Fortress. No illustration rare, but we do have a double rare of Torterra EX. It is not a Coridon. It is a Torterra. All right, so yeah, that is our one hit from this box. Code card, a double rare. That puts us uh, a decent amount of double rares now. 
We did get the gold, so that's pretty nice, but let's get another illustration rare. Because that's the biggest thing. That is really the biggest thing about um, what product you want to open up. And it feels like Booster Box is the best one to do it, uh, mainly because you do get roughly the four on average uh, illustration rares. Three regular and then two are two. Three regular and then one special illustration rare. So Rene Eclipse, and we have our illustration rare right here. Let's see, 174, 162. It doesn't look like it's one that I have. Nice, it's an extra drill. I do like that artwork, that is pretty sweet. We have an extra drill illustration rare. Really good, really good. Maybe the Galaxy Fire took over for the double illustration or the special illustration rare, but we do get one here. And I'm very happy about that one. All right, Iron Thorns, Lightning Energy, and Co. So not bad, if we get one more illustration rare, I'll take that as a win, because um, that will give us the four. Now we haven't gotten any full arts just yet. So hopefully we can pull one from these last three. Uh, but we have Meryl, Golet, Dunsparce, Mist Energy, Sandy Shocks, Behem, Metatite, and Mr. Mime with a Whimsicott, okay. Gra oh, grass, water, energy, and coat. So getting right down to it. Looking for four more hits. We have an Arbok, Seedot, Totodile, Deerling, Electivire, Sinchino, Sableye, Azumarill, Golurk, and a double rare. Is that fire or fighting? It's like fighting. Iron Boulder. Don't know if I pulled you. Don't remember if I hit it, but I'll take that. That is our fourth hit from this side. And now we're just looking for three more. And we have 14. So let's see if we can pull uh, an illustration right now. Or a double, not double, full art. But an illustration rare would be nice. That will put us at three regular. And again, I'll just assume that the gold took over for this special illustration rare if we do not get one. Mudsdale. We have a Noctow and Matang with a Fluttermane. Grass Energy and Coat. So yeah, down to our final two. Maybe we don't get 14 hits. Maybe we get 13. But we'll do a recap and see how it looks. And to be quite honest, I'm um, not all that upset about it. But we have Bramlin, Girafferig, Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Hand Trimmer, Ravska, Fortress, Ekans, and Mr. Mine for the reverses with a Melmetal Hollow. All right. Fighting Energy and Code. Next three packs. So pack two of box number four. And don't know if we have something here. I think it's just a hollow. All right, but Totodile, Deerling, Metagross, Roserade, Keldeo, Metatite, no illustration rare. We have a Golurk and another Fluttermane. Psychic Energy and Code. All right, come on. Pack number three, we need a hit. We're gonna get one here. We're gonna get one. We do have one here, I think. Unless that hollow sheen wasn't that that shiny. So, Full Metal Lab, Golurk, it's gonna happen. Shaman, Azumarill, pulled so many of you. Ah, Matang, and it is a full art. We got a full art. Okay, that is great. 195 and 162 what type are you a metal type iron crown scissor have i pulled you no i don't think so but i'll take it nice we did get a full art that is what i was looking for no more of the double wears please give us the full arts and we got a full art so nice scissor 
full art. Put you right there, buddy. Okay. Okay. I am happy about this. Very happy about this. We have our final pack of box number four. We have five hits now. <sighs> I feel I feel pretty relieved about it. Okay. So yeah, that looks like a hollow back there. We have a P Dove, Pineco, Mawau, Metatite. So that's what I thought. I was like, this is a hollow that has like a dull shine to it. And it was, because it was a full art. We have a Noctile and a Delmize with a Bramble Gas Hollow. So really nice code. All right, and the final build and battle box of the display. Let's get something here. See what we have. We have Elgin, Melton, Nuzleaf. We have a Mincino. Oh, they're just sticking all together. Salvatore, Palafin, Screamtail, and Victini. Nice, I need that one. With no illustration rare, but a Meryl and a double rare. Fire 34 is that Incineroar? Incineroar, okay. So these do give a lot of double rares. But we also got a gold full art and illustration rare along with some ace cards. So let's get into the next pack. We need one more hit to be at seven. Let's just hope that it's an illustration rare. That's my biggest thing. I would like to get at least three illustration rares. I got one from the first one. We have one here. If we could get another one, again, I'll just count Gouging Fire as that special illustration rare slot. So Sableye, Beldum, Census Gorge, and Macargo. Okay, two more packs left. Here we go. Here we go. Iron Crown. All right. Is it Iron Crown? It's called Iron Crown, right? So, no, that one's Iron Leaves. Sorry. That's Iron Crown, Iron Boulder. But Iron Crown is the one I want to get for a double rare. If you're going to give us another double rare, Iron Crown, please. That'll be great. I think that card's like $7. All right. Grubbin. Whew, dang. All right. Haunter and Iron Valiant. Okay. Last pack. Can we get, and I'll, I'll take either, either or, a full art. Or an illustration rare. I'll take either or. Now, of course, there are some booster boxes that only give you three illustration rares. I have experienced those, and I have experienced one that gave me only two, which was crazy. So, there there are some dead boxes like that. But here we go. Final box. Explorer's Guidance. Nuzleaf. Hmm. Haunter and a Roaring Moon. So only 13 hits. I'll take that as a loss for a booster box. But sometimes you do get it. But overall, not terrible. So in this one, we got six hits. We got three double rares, a full art, an illustration rare, and a gold card, which I will take the, the special illustration rare slot. But in total, what we did get, we did get six, right? Six double rares. So we got Incineroar, Gouging Fire, we got two Coridons, we got an Iron Boulder, and a Torterra. So we got six double rares from this one, or regular double rares. And I guess I'll, I'll count the Fairgraph as a full art kind of a thing. Sometimes they do put it with that. So Fairgraph EX and Scizor EX are two full arts and then we got two illustration rares Excadrill and Mencino and then in that same slot did come the Gouging Fire so that's pretty nice there too and then we did get two ace cards Master Ball and a Neo Upper Energy these are two per box usually you will, you will give you guaranteed one but on average you do get two of these so overall two ace two full arts two illustration rares, a gold card, and six double rares. Just say that the double rares took over for the full art. But 13 hits, 14 on average is what you get in a booster box. Not terrible. And then we did get uh, 10 of these pre-release things. Look at all these extra cards. So 
really nice there but that's gonna do it let me know what you think of this i'm probably not gonna go back to it i mean i do like these so maybe i'll do one per set that comes out but that's gonna do it for me hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new to catch more of these pokemon videos and until next time perhaps have yourselves a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video bye